No exciting kitchen slide this morning because I'm about to play one of the hardest golf courses that I've ever played. It's 100% in my top three. This golf course is so hard that already I'm nervous about certain tee shots, the drop-offs that I'm gonna hit, the potential three putts that I'm gonna have, all the biggest mistakes that all golfers are worried about. Trying to play the top 50 golf courses in England continues, and today, I'm heading to St. Melian. In the comments down below, what's the hardest course you've ever played? What am I gonna shoot today? And how many chromies am I gonna lose? All right, here we go. Par four, three, nine, six to start. I've got my iron out for safety. <laughs> First swing of the day. Well, a few practice swings done. And I did hit some in the garden last night. That should be perfect. Down the right should kick in and be in nice position. This course around the greens has so many drop-offs, drop banks, etc., etc. So finding the greens is going to be so important today. Otherwise, the short game is going to have to be fire. 152 playing 144 and it's 170 to the back. So I'm going to go up a club, especially as it's early morning as well, and hit an eight iron. Now, more space to the left of that flag. So looking to miss left, if anything. I say miss, I want to hit the green, obviously. But if I can miss left of the flag, I'd still hit the green. Great, pretty flat lie. Oh, it's straight at it. Hang on a minute. Sit. Should have hit a nine. <laughs> These look so pure and like Parkland pure. Loads of green, absolutely lovely. And I haven't had a putt yet, so this is a complete guesswork. And there's one hell of a slope that I'm gonna have to go very close to the edge of the green, I think. I haven't gone high enough. A little worried about putting it off the green. Oh, crikey. They're quick. I had to go up here. I don't think I could have got that close unless I went into the rough. So that was a very tentative start on the old line there. Not too much break on this. I'm pretty sure I've got a stone in my shoe as well, which is slightly annoying. Ah, it's low. Bad, bad start on the green. Three putting too often at the moment. Tee shot number one that I'd like to just get out of the way. Luckily, the championship tees aren't out today, so I'm off the whites, but they're only five yards back on this hole. There is another hole on the left as well, but it'll cut around the corner. That is an arrow ball. Fly over those trees and that's on the other hole. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's on the other hole. <laughs> I've brought the wrong club over. Those trees are pretty high. I'm going to try and flop a nine, which should get me over and back in play. Just, but that's back on the right hole. Hit the like button if you think that this is as good as it can get. A beautiful, still, bright sunshine morning on the golf course. Back on the correct hole. 82 to the flag, and that is right at the front, so 99 middle. What have I got there? That must only be like 12 yards, 10 yards at the front of this green to into. And then you've got bunkers either side. I'm going with a pretty hard 58, which I don't normally do, but I want it to stop quick, if possible. Kick off the bank a little bit. Oh, God. Come on, come back. It was a little bit skinny, unfortunately, but it's on the green. Let's hope 
that I can escape the three part on this hole. Could be time to take the jumper off already. Could be an absolute scorcher today. And I've got one of my new Callaway apparel t-shirts on. So let me know in the comments what you think of it. I think it looks pretty cool. And if you look good, you then feel good and then you play good. <clears throat> Not a good start. Two putts here though. One putt here, no. Oh, these greens are lovely. Just look how tight it is. 340. It does not give you anything, this course. Bank up the left, so that's your place to whack it if you're gonna hit it anywhere. So hopefully my draw shape will make it head that way, if anything. Drawing back to the right side. That was quite aggressive, to be fair, but not the crispest of strikes this morning. <laughs> 105 to the middle, 121 back. And that pin is tucked at the back. Any pull left and I'm with an aggressive yardage and I'm in a bunker. So let's get this to go about 115 and jump to 120, hopefully. Not hard enough, might be front edge maybe. Ah, it's done all right actually, that's pretty good. Not a bad shot really. Not exactly how I wanted to strike it, but if I'm left with 15 or so feet, 20 feet, I'm pretty happy with that. Now a little right to left by the looks of it, just to get back to level. Low again. This par three is so tight that I've had to put the camera behind me so you can see where the ball lands. <laughs> 166 to the pin. I've got an eight because it looks like that pin's right at the back. And even this 166 shot, you've proper got to think, and hitting the green is a good shot. I probably want to miss left, if anything, as well. Uh, iron play starting to become good. Fit. Oh yes, good shot. I would take having this length putt all day, that's for sure. You can tell it's warm. Eight iron, that's gone like 172. Like I am warmed up and loosey goosey this morning. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. I did hit it just, but not read the line. Pars, I will just keep on taking all day. Give me all pars right now. In the comments down below, I've done a few top 50 videos now. What do you prefer seeing? Longer editions, hour long, 30 minutes, 20 minutes? What would you prefer to see? Let me know in the comments down below. That is such a good shot. Out the rough, controlled it lovely. I need to hold this. Oh, how's that not turned? Disbelief. How's that not turned? It's finished right behind the hole as well. Great weight. Oh no! This isn't one of the tee shots that I was worried about, but now I stand here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Driver. Keep drawing, keep drawing. Keep drawing. Oh, yeah. What's the worry? Don't tell anyone, but I've been practicing in my garden. 144 playing. Pulled it. This isn't the place that you want to hit it, to let everyone know. Down slope, 
onto a downslope. So I've gone full wide with the camera. Now, do you be real delicate and just hope that you pull off the perfect or do you take your punishment and hit it 10 feet long? And this is the thing around these courses, you get absolutely punished. Oh, get up. Look at it trying to get down the slope. Went delicate. Landed it what? Foot short? Oh dear, 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 dear. The longer rough. You can be more aggressive. I've been playing plenty of links recently where you got your bare nippy ones. Ah, too high. Ah, punish there. Technically it wasn't that bad a shot. What's that? Eight yards away? This was the hole that I was on earlier off the second tee. Already been on here and this is narrow, but it is staked up the left. Ah, stay. Oh, that's such a good drive for me. <laughs> it's still in the rubbish. Oh, hit a tree, come out. I'm really not sure what the best way to play this hole is because I'll get on Google Maps on this hole and show you how tight the fairway is. And I honestly think that if I, I could hit it like to 180 off the tee and be safe that I'm probably gonna find my ball, but once you get above 200, it's pretty much tight and you've got to hit a good shot. So is there any point in hitting like a free iron, forward, free hybrid instead of driver because I'm probably just as likely to hit a half decent shot and find the rubbish anyway. So you hit a driver and smash it up there and you do it a good one, great. You play safe, hit it in the rubbish, might as well hit driver in the rubbish, further up, taking a drop and had more chance of hitting the green. So there you go. It's a tough one, shall we? One club length, two club lengths, I'm going to drop it and it's going to be on the path and I'm going to stood there, so grip my stance, another club length, somewhere up here. Drop. I honestly think, and I know I said it at the start of the video, this is one of the top three hardest courses that I've ever played. And that is why it's in my top 50. Donking, one drop two, donking up three, up and down needed for par. Oh God, get up and out of there. Nice heavy strike. There's my ball. <laughs> I didn't drive up far enough. You gonna let me play it? I can't now, can I? Because I've played the other one. Oh, disaster. In you go. 85 yards to the pin and yep, six inches off the fairway. It's sat on a little tier up there. It's in like a little quarter, back right quarter and there's slopes off to the left and short. You'd be too aggressive though. You missed the green and you got another up and down like I had on the last. Don't be long. Oh, did that nearly pitch in the hole? <laughs> One drop, two, play three, four to here. This for a par, and it is a slinker. Oh, I can't read it. What's it doing? Maybe a little left to right. I know it's gonna be quick anyway. What the actual? Please stop. Oh no. Um, what are you doing down there? Oh my word. Like that is gonna, shot scope are gonna ring me up and go, um, I think you've made a mistake on the seventh hole at St. Melian with your stats on the green. You seem to have gone from 10 foot to 40 foot away. Yep. <laughs> Oh my word, I knew it was quick, but I didn't think it was anywhere near that quick. Crikey. Don't fall apart, not on camera. Oh, 
Oh goodness, this is an absolute disaster. Where's my bead counters? Please don't fall putt, please. Yeah, that. Oh, no. What is that? That's not a nine, is it one? Drop two, play three, four, five, six, seven. Please don't unfollow me. <laughs> a nice little hole. Thank goodness. 94 to the front, 112 to the middle. Slightly downhill, so I'm gonna literally try and hit it 94 yards. Come on. Par, please. No four putts, please. We're on the green and we're spinning back. Hello. There must be hell of a slope there to get that razzle dazzle. Oh, oh let's get one back. Oh, I need this so much. Five over. I'm sure we've all done it, haven't we? Hit the like button if you've four putted before. <laughs> Don't be shy. Come on, because you've already liked it because of my T-shirt. You all like that. <laughs> If this video is not on like 10,000 likes, I'll be shocked. <laughs> 217 to carry the bunker on the right, 350 yard hole. And it's a dog leg, so I don't really want to smash driver all the way over there because it'll get tight up there. So I'm just trying to literally get this over kind of the bunker line and over the bunker. And then I'll have about 120 left, maybe 130 is about uphill. Little right of where I wanted to. Should be absolutely fine there. They're a bit right of the bunker. Definitely a little bit too far right. Now I've only got 140 to the middle, 126 front. So I've got a wedge. I think the pin's at the back though. So if I get a flyer, it should still be okay. Little bit of guesswork of where that's gone and where I'm aiming, but I'm sure it's stiff. Perhaps that's the answer. I've just got to have blind shots into the green. This is very much needed. Ninth hole, five over. I can't get them high enough. Hit it higher, for goodness sake. <sighs> terrible, terrible. Let me know in the comments down below. Nine holes played, five over. One disastrous, mega disastrous hole causing that to look a worse score than maybe what it is. In, would you be aggressive now and try and get it back or would you still stay patient? Let me know. <laughs> Lucky that bank's there. <laughs> this tee shot. It's completely in my grill. That pit somewhere up there. Like, yeah, that's quite the bank. And you will now see how below my feet that is. I've got 200 to the front after that dippy hook into a massive bank. Honestly, this tee shot does my head in. 220 to the back, it's gotta be a six, isn't it? Ball below my feet, so might straighten up my draw. Got to do my best to get it there. Oh yeah, baby. Fly ball, fly. I tell you what, that is such a good shot. Stop. Oh, that is so good. The difference between that tee shot and that shot there is light years apart. <laughs> Locky golf. To control the direction and the distance, very, very good. There is potential there. There is potential. This will be hell of a three. Yeah, 
just not quite getting the lines and the reeds at the moment. But after that tee shot, I'll run away with a bar. One, six, one, play in. That's the slope reading. 178, 179 back. So that's like 170 back playing. Pin is left. Hopefully you can see the green on the camera. It's proper downhill, this one. Aiming right to middle of the green. If I draw it onto the pin, happy days. If I don't, middle of the green's all good. What is that, everybody? That's just a big fat chunk out to the right. Honestly, this course is proper in my head. How can you go from that six iron, like seven feet below my feet, rip onto the green to a perfect lie, fat block right? Honestly, it baffles me. Ah, <sighs> chip and putt needed. Hit it. Oh God. It's on the green, everyone. Calm down. I know it's not in shot. Oh God. And I've got that tee shot that is already in my grill before I start on the next. <laughs> Look how beautiful it is though. I cannot be complaining. Is that gonna go? How long have I got? Don't think it is. Come on, is that what you do? Put a shadow over it, don't you? Drop. <sighs> Come on. This has turned into a break 80 video, isn't it? <laughs> Can I break 80? Six over. I thought I had that putt. Can't believe that finished short. Ah, right, downwind, par 5, 527 to the middle, and an absolute alleyway. And I'm manning up. Oh, yes. Come on. It's not on the fairway, it's in the left hand rough. I honestly didn't think that I'd be doing that on this hole. Ignore the water stain that I just dribbled on me, but look at that. Does anyone else get all these marks from their pocket? Crikey, that's the worst I've ever seen, I reckon. 208, and I've got an absolute flyer of a golf ball. Lake short or river short at 180 to carry. And I'm hitting a seven iron, so should easily get over that. On the green would be spectacular. Good drive. Don't let yourself down with your second. Hill up the right. Is it gonna miss that tree? Oh, hit it plumb. <laughs> hit it plumb and kick to the right of the path. It's fine, but goodness knows what I'm gonna have for my next one. I let myself down. So my ball is on the path and my nearest drop, I think, is probably over there. And if I go over here, like I've got a tree in the way and everything. So I honestly think that my best bet is to nip it off the path. Terrible, terrible shot. Hit that tree plumb on, bounce back. How it stayed on this path, I have no idea, but let's nip it off. Sorry about the camera angle, the wall's there and I can't get it anywhere else. Played it lovely, haven't I? Green keeper. Scratch my club. I've played that lovely. Even the green keeper gave me a nod for that one. What a birdie this will be. Oh, on the hole that I was dreading as well. 
Get in! Back to five. 352, par four. Nice and friendly, because again, I'm not off the back tees. Hybrid it is. Bunker down there, finishing at about 215. So as long as I hit it past that, it all's good. Perfect. That's a delicious ball flight. 116. Now I'm sure I've said on previous episodes, like Lynx golf is the best form of golf. Now I'm at a Parkland and I've done a few more top 50s. I love Parkland as well. <laughs> I actually just think I love being out on the golf course, especially when I'm this lucky to be playing such great golf courses. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving this. 115, that pin is right at the front. My goodness, that is tucker need Birdie, birdie, I'm on, I'm on the train, one foot's on. Should we get two feet on and start riding it back to level par? Oh yes, come on, come on, come on, coach. That, oh, nearly a morning slippy dew on the club. That would have been embarrassing. That is so perfectly pin high. <laughs> and I've missed it just left, which is the safer side to miss. Like that's just a good, good, good shot. I think it was that chip off the path. It's got me a little pumped, you know, a little nippy up and down. That's turning masses. How am I not seeing that? These greens are proper throwing me. Oh, wasted opportunity. I can't believe how much that turned. Par three. One, six, four to the pin playing, slightly uphill. Into the breeze slightly as well. One, six, four. No, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to hit my eight. Going to hit the eight. Pushed it. Bunker. First bunk. Oh, it just dribbled. <laughs> Literally just fell out of my mouth out of nowhere. <laughs> Definitely should have hit a seven there. That was poor decision making. Oh, this sand looks lovely. Come on. Up and down needed. Or in. Oh, hold it. <laughs> and the green keeper's come round the corner like, why <laughs> is he celebrating? <laughs> it's gone in. It's gone in. I'm not some weirdo just pumping the air like that. That, that's how you birdie that hole. Come on. Oh, back to four. That could have been back to three if I could read the bloody greens couldn't it dog leg right uh, around the corner 370 yards and it's about 230 to the corner here which i'm just going to try and donk it up towards cool that's an aggressive line <laughs> that flies that's good oh and it didn't hit anything i reckon that i could have accidentally hit that perfect I didn't hear it anything because it didn't quite reach it. <laughs> oh, chip out. Over the wall, hit the tree, back in play, chip and putt. <sighs> Wowzers, that's above my feet with lots of loft. Control this bad boy. Straight after a birdie again. Oh, I've controlled it, lovely. Get back there, go, go, go. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Can I recover? Pitched, rolled out, not bad at all. What a save this would be. That looks left to right to me. Got to be a little bit left to right. Come on. too much. Ah, oh, what a shame. 
Back to five. Ha! Not a bad drive, but it did kick in off of the bank and got a little lucky. And I have a foot on the fairway for a change. 250 to the middle. Now I've got a hybrid. Try and be a bit more accurate than the forward. Forward's very aggressive. Still up the left, but should be fine. Definitely not enough club to reach, but I am just safe, actually. I didn't think it was that far left, but it was a bit of a blind shot over the hump. Up and down needed for a birdie. Now, my chip shot on the last par five was spectacular off a path, wasn't it? So, can I replicate it? I reckon I need to pitch this in the rough, you know, to get it close. I'm on a down slope. Pitched it too far. No. Drop off. Drop me off. That's where that all began, I think. Drop this off. Look where that's gone. That's literally only just dribbled off. And look at that little drop off there. What are you doing there? Up and down for par all of a sudden again. Oh, oh, my short game. The magic's back. The magic is back, everyone. Oh, saved. Two holes left. Good save to stay at plus five. Dog leg right on this one. I think I'm going to try and hit a cut up here just because it's the way I'm looking at it, I think. Let's give it a cut a go. Keep cutting, keep cutting. That tree I've zapped at 300, so I shouldn't make that. Yeah, that's all good. In the rough, but absolutely fine. Lying not too bad, 135 to the pin. I know that this is a bit of a bowl green, so I'm gonna go with my gat wedge. Par par, and I'll be very happy with a plus five <laughs> i did have an eight actually didn't i that's a triple bogey bang oh we'll kick kick hard oh it's hit the path i've picked some dodgy clubs today that should have been a wedge that should have been a wedge stop muscling it. Uh, it nearly got pin eye because of the path. <laughs> uh, why is the ball that far above my feet? <laughs> oh, wowzers. That's impressive. And I got to flop it to make this ball stop anywhere near the hole. Oh, that is crazy. I'm on the metal, like two fingers on the metal, straight legged. How good is that? Like people don't realize down the lens how good that is. But trust me, that is so good. What a lovely up and down. The magic is back, I'm telling you, I've called it. Magic's back. Final hole. Par four, dog leg to the right, a little bit into the old wind. Got to send one down the right on this hole. Over the trees. Oh, it's a little bit right. It's caught that tree. I'm nearly on the other fairway. And now I've got to hit it under this tree with a bit of draw. 150. Ready for some movage. No idea. Oh, it's a knee drop. Someone said it's gone in the old water. One, two, drop three. Up and down for a bogey. 
sad finish. Run up. Oh, needs more than that. You might be able to see behind me there that the old green keepers are in the lake. And I just asked them how many balls they reckon they're going to get out of that. And last time they did it, have a little guess if you want. You got five seconds, or I'll tell you after this putt down in the comments. This for a sorry, sorry end. Bogey or a double. Double. Brilliant. Oh, what a shame. Seven over. And for anyone down in the comments, 22,000 balls they got out last time. <laughs> 22,000 just in that one lake. That is unbelievable. Thanks to St. Melian for having me. As always, if you're enjoying the content and the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button, hit that like button and turn that bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Thanks all for watching. Another Lockheed's Top 50 in the books, plus seven. To be fair, probably would have taken that at the start of the day. <laughs>